to all my Banks fans out there, what it do? It's your boy, Dan, back again with another Lloyd Banks free verse, freestyle, called I'm Right Back. The reason why I'm choosing this video, for one, subscribe, like, share, hit the algorithms. If you're a Banks fan, you came to the right place because occasionally I do Lloyd Banks bar breakdowns or just fan reactions. Uh, if you are a Banks fan, you might know Mixtape King. So many songs that didn't get recognized on a global or universal scale, but were just barred down from beginning to end. Today's one of those examples. I could do this literally every day in regards to Lloyd Banks. So I just chose this one on the basis of scrolling through his catalog, listening to his tracks, and remembering how fire this nigga was on a random on a random song. You feel me? So with that being said, this song is called I'm Right Back, a freestyle, more like a free verse. If I want to clarify for, for people out there. A freestyle, in my opinion, means you're coming off the top of the dome. You don't know what you're going to say next. A free verse is when you write something to a, a beat that might not be pertaining to any specific subject or might not be on your album or on your mixtape. So it's a free verse. No, nothing conceptual. This is more like a free verse. Banks writing something to a dope beat, getting in the booth, tearing it up real quick and leaving. <laughs> so with that being said, let's just react. You feel me? It's your boy Dane. Uh. One word. Bang. Yeah, this is Don's beat. Now it's my beat. The best guy eats. Hold the cop teeth. I got a neck full of ice, so when the light hit me, I shine. Kinda like the flutters on the bike. Yeah. Ah, already, punchline king, and he he dissing. All right, this was back in the time. If I could take you back, when uh, Fifty Cent made Piggy Bank, he dissed everybody essentially. Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, uh, Nas, Shine Poe. Shout out to all them. Much love, but. In dissing all them, Lloyd Banks had to inherit beefs uh, that he might might have not inherited. So it was a loyalty factor. So in the beginning of this song, he said, yeah, this was Nas' beat. That's my beat. <laughs> so just, you know, a quick shot in the, in the realm of hip-hop. Lloyd Banks was always one of those who uh, stepped up in regards to G-Unit beats. And he was the lyricist. So it was nice to see him just throw a shot at one of the guys. Shout out to Nas. You feel me? To let you know, like, hey, I know you one of the guys, but I I can spar with anybody. So yeah, this was Nas beat. Now it's my beat. The best guy East. Worth the Kai teeth. I got a neck full of ice. So when the light hit me, I shine. Kind of like reflectors on a bike. <laughs> Bar! You feel me? These niggas do punchlines and battle rap and think that they started shit. It's like, bro, these niggas like Banks been doing it. And then back before him, niggas like Big L and, you know what I'm saying? Back before him, niggas like fucking Big Daddy Kane or Rock Kane. Like, rap has been ongoing with witty wordplay. This is just, feel me, a continuum. But I like that start off from Banks. <laughs> One word, bang. Yeah, this is Nas beat. Now it's my beat. The best guy eats. Hold the cop teeth. I got a neck full of ice, so when the light hit me, I shine. Kinda like the flutters on the bike. I have a gun on my knife. The protectors in my life. I could drop a jewel, but it's extra for vice. My soap game ugly. I don't trick box the bubble. Groupies get boxed in the subway. Riding the beat. You feel me? Riding the beat, flowing. That's the thing about Banks. He got the punches, but he also has other skills, other tools in his toolbox. He said, my gun and my knife, 
the protectors of my life. I could drop a jewel, but it's extra for a vice. Uh, and the reason why that's heavy, because we know the hip hop industry. We know uh, what they make these artists do. And uh, that low vibrational dialogue, that shit talking, that uh, I got money, bitches, hoes, all this type of shit, the things that we consider vices in the world, hip hop promotes. So Lloyd Banks is just saying that he's conscious and aware of it and taking advantage of it. Lloyd Banks, one of the Gordy rappers, G Unit was one of the flossy Gordy rappers who had that type of style and capitalized off that style. Not condoning it, I think consciousness always needs to be propagated to the mainstream, but uh, this bar just emphasizes Lloyd Banks' awareness. So he say, the gun in my knife, the gun and the knife, the protectors of my life, I could drop a jewel. So I could give y'all a free game, but it's extra for a vice. When I drop a vice, they pay me more. And then he say, my talk game ugly. I don't trick lobster or bubbly. Groupies get boxes of Subway. <laughs> so just uh, a vice, essentially. Right after he tells you what they like and what they pay for, he gives you a vice. My talk game ugly. I don't trick lobster or bubbly. Groupies get boxes of Subway. Bar. That's fire. He said, who the fuck told him to say that? And a skull on his shirt giving the nigga two heads to aim at. <laughs> The reason why that's fire is because in this era, 2007 through 10-ish era, niggas used to wear them shirts with the skull on it. You feel me? So that was the fad, the style. Lloyd Banks always get at the general consensus when they ride waves and change styles. He was never with the style. So when niggas wore skinny jeans, you're going to find a Lloyd Banks bar talking about skinny jeans. Or niggas having purses. You're going to find Lloyd Banks dissing a nigga wearing a purse. This is no different than that. So he's dissing a new generation. Like, who the fuck told him to say that? And the skull on his shirt giving the nigga two heads to aim at. <laughs> Your head, and then now you got the skull on his shirt. So it's, you feel me? You're making yourself a target. Move. Give a nigga room like a Maybach. Easy. Thug from the room to the tomb where I stay at. He's a rapper's rapper. Thumb from the room to the tomb where I stay at. The rap fans gone, but I'm still packing. Cause trouble follows a nigga like Pac Man Jones. Yeah. I despise niggas. Yeah. Whip five niggas. Yeah. Beef and make a bitch out of six five niggas. Ah! I despise niggas. Whip by niggas. Beef and make a bitch out of six five niggas. <laughs> See, like. They be saying if he can battle rap, I be listening to his bars. I'm like, bro, if this was in a battle rap format, he's shaking the room with some of these motherfuckers. And not only is he shaking the room, but he might have them bars that go all over niggas' heads. And this one specifically, he got like four room shakers, you feel me? But it's Lloyd Banks, man. What do you expect? The PLK. That's cold to me. I like that 6-5 line. Follows a nigga like Pac Man Jones. Yeah. I despise niggas. Yeah. Whip five niggas. Yeah. Beef and make a bitch out of six five niggas. Uh. I ain't never love a thing. Nah. My heart goes out the whole reoccurring pain from the hurricane. Woo. That boy is the truth. Ain't more like Syracuse. Uh. One hundred proof of syrup juice. Wow. I'm an industry nigga in the industry. Uh. It's good, the great, the greatest. Then it's me. Trying to avoid the penitentiary. Uh. When it's all said and done, niggas better mix me. Yeah. When it's all said and done, niggas better mention me. You know we will. And that's just a Lloyd Banks review of I'm Right Back, a song that got swept under the rug. Bars I liked. Man, I got a neck full of ice, so when the light hit me, I shine. Kind of like reflectors on a bike. <laughs> the gun in my knife, the protectors of my life. I could drop a jewel, but it's extra for a vice. My talk game ugly. I don't trick lobster or bubbly. Groupies get boxes of Subway. Who the fuck told him to say that? And the skull on the shirt giving the nigga two heads to aim at. Ah! I like the whole damn song.
with that being said, it's your boy Dane. Give me your comments, your likes, your reviews, bars I might have missed, and songs y'all might want to hear me review or break down in the future, man. It's your boy Dane. Lloyd Banks, man. Top, top, this top 10 lyricists of all time. I'm gonna put it out there. Lloyd Banks. Somebody challenged me on that. It's your boy Dane, man. We out this motherfucker. Peace.